Hey everybody, it's Emily Dark Schooling, and I'm here today with... Sarah. <laughs> Just Sarah. <laughs> and we're going to be doing a bit of a tea haul for you today. We went to Maine, and we discovered a cool tea store. Mm -hmm. It's called the Tea Space. I don't know if you guys can see, I have their business card. It was just the cutest little tea store. They, they sell loose leaf tea, they sell tea bags, they sell tea wear, like anything to do with tea, basically. I got a bunch of stuff to try and surprise Sarah with because Sarah also loves tea. So this is sort of like, surprise, look at all the cool tea. <laughs> and so we have some, some hot water ready here so that we can pick something to try for you guys today. So I'm just gonna start with the thing that I know Sarah loves already. I, they had novel teas. If you got the Bookception Family Reading Crate way back last, yeah, way back last April, we had novel teas in it. These are so cute. They're just little black tea bags. I don't know, are they any, oh yeah, they're English breakfast tea. And they have little bookish quotes on them, and they're super cute. So I know that Sarah loves these, so I got those for her as a treat. So what else do we have? Oh, I don't oh, want that. What is this? Ajira tea, organic green tea. Oh, this is the one he was telling me about, that this comes from Africa. Where does it come from in Africa, did he say? Good stuff the box. Oh, in Kenya. And so he was telling us that these are all hand painted. Isn't that beautiful? And so they're all different. They're just green tea and they look like this. And I think my husband got these for him because he loves green tea. Yeah, he said that these are made from banana tree bark and they're hand painted. So every box is and, different. Yeah, and so every bo box of tea is unique and that says 100% of profits support orphan education. When you open this box of tea, you're opening up a world of opportunity to orphans in Kenya. 100% of profits from the sales of Ajiri tea go towards school fees and the purchase of books, uniforms, and school supplies. How cool is this? So, I'm excited to try that. I it's like really, green tea. It's really cool. I just wish it wasn't green tea. <laughs> well, you know, we got this one that's green tea, but didn't they have other flavors? They had mm -hmm. other kinds, so. If we go back, or when we go back, we'll have to try a different flavor. Okay, this is the other one that I thought was really cool. So, this one I got specifically for you. Peppermint tea. But, it's, these are really, you might have to try this one now. So basically, this is, let me open this up so you can see. This is like loose tea, no tea bag. And they look like this, I don't know. How well you'll be able to see that. They look like little hearts, but there's other shapes too. They had flowers, they had little um, like petal, like teardrop petal type like things. Sparkly. And you drop that in your cup and it dissolves completely and you have a cup of tea. No tea bag, no loose tea, mm -hmm. just perfectly dissolved tea. Can I do it now? And it's owned by a woman and it's just very cool. I love this. So, so Sarah's just dropped a tea heart into her mug so we'll check back with her in a few minutes and it's see. like when you're doing um uh, yeah the Easter looks... egg thing when you put it in oh the I was gonna say it looks like a bath color. bomb <laughs> uh, that's gonna be my second thought okay we got a whole bunch of stuff in here so I got a little carried away but there was just so many things so these are literary teas oh mm. no this one's not okay so the next couple I have are literary teas. These are the literary tea collection by Simpson and Vale. So I think they're all different flavors of tea. So this one is William Shakespeare's Black Tea Blend. And it says the ingredients in this one are rose con kangu? Kanju? Kanju, I bet. Rose kanju black tea, lavender petals, rose petals, rosemary, and bergamot oil. And then I have Edgar Allan Poe's Black Tea Blend, which looks like this. And this one is Black Tea's Pu'er Tea. I don't know how you say that. Lapsang Sushang Tea, Beetroot and Bergamot Oil. 
And then this one is Jane Austen's Black Tea Blend, which looks like that. And it says Black Tea, Spearmint, Lavender Flowers, and Vanilla. And then the last one I have is Louisa May Alcott's Green Tea Blend, which is green tea, apple, spi uh, apple pieces, excuse me, green tea, apple pieces, flavoring, strawberry pieces, and rose petals. That one just sounds lovely. And so, mm -hmm. these are all loose tea. I'm just disappointed that the Lisa and the Alcott ones are green tea. <laughs> They're all black tea, except oh, for the one I'm mean, most interested in. <laughs> you should give it a try. Oh, look at your tea. Wow. You know, you might want to run and grab a spoon yeah. and stir that up. There you go. Stir that up and see, because I bet that, that fixes it. So, when I went, when I told Sarah I was going to the tea space, I specifically said, what kind of tea would you like me to find you? And she said, I don't know. I like anything black tea with spice. So I'm like, how about chai? Mm. So I, we asked the guy in the store, what's your best chai? And he pointed us to a couple things. And we picked these for you. So this one is Nellie's Tea Company. And I want to say, is this the one he said was local? Yes, this one's made in South Portland, Maine. So this is a local place that they get tea from. And this one is Black Spice Chai. Black tea flavored and blended with an array of spices like cinnamon, cardamom, star anise, black pepper, and cloves. And then this one is Harney and Sons chai tea, and it comes in this really nice tin. It's really pretty. It is so pretty. And this one, oh, here it is. This one is black tea, cardamom flavor, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla. So they're very different mm. flavor-wise. So you'll have to try both and decide which one you like. Yeah. So I think these are also both loose tea, right? Yes, these are also both loose. Oh, Sarah, we did get some more of those. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So you remember that tea from mm -hmm. Africa at the beginning? They had some loose tea bags we could buy. So we did get some black, black tea. tea. So these are all black tea. Same as this brand here. Oops. So these are all the same as this brand here from Kenya, Ajira Tea, no, Ajiri Tea, and these are different flavors. They had Kenyan Black Tea, Kenyan Black Tea with Mango, and Kenyan Black Tea with Lemon Myrtle. And then the other loose tea bag we got was just an English breakfast tea, because that's one of my favorites. I love English breakfast tea. So that one is Harney and Sons. And then the last tea we got is Little Red Cup Premium Jade Oolong because we really like oolong tea. We like getting the tea at Chinese restaurants because it's always so delicious. And so this, I'm hoping, is going to be just like that because I don't know what they use. We went to this Chinese restaurant in Green Leaves and the tea they had there was so ridiculously good. I kept saying, I just want to throw some noodles in it and drink this as like broth with noodles. Like, it's so good. So this is some more loose tea. And because I bought so much loose tea, I also oh. bought ourselves a teapot with loose tea, like, infuser in it. So I don't know if I can open this without making a mess. Oh, I need to pick a tea to try, don't I? Yeah. I guess the only... All right, I'm going to try the Kenyan Black. So, because I'm curious about those. Let me get this in my water. Okay, so I'm brewing myself one of the Kenyan teas. So this is the Ajiri Kenyan Black Tea that I've... So I didn't know what to do. I knew I wanted to get some kind of an infuser because I really wanted to get some loose leaf teas. And so, they had a couple different options there. They had, like, you could get a mug that had its own little infuser so you could brew your own mm. single mug of tea, which that, I almost got those. But then I thought, you know, we're going to want to make a pot of tea, so I might as well get a big one. But, Sarah, you should probably, when we go again, because we will go again, you should probably get one of the mug ones, and then you can have that in your dorm. Yeah. 
So this is super cute. They had a couple different colors, but they did not have green, so I was a little sad, but I got blue. It's really pretty shade of So you can, you put your loose tea in this. I don't know if you guys see that. You just put the loose tea and the infuser, and you put that right in the water, and it'll brew your tea. So, and then you have this teapot. I don't know how many ounces this holds. 45 ounces. So it holds 45 ounces of tea, so that's a pretty decent size. We can split this between the two of us. So it looks nice with the mugs. It does. I like it. It's very pretty. So that would look really nice. The green pot, the green mug. Yeah, that would have been perfect. I'm sad. Another time, maybe I'll be able to find a green one. So Sarah, I think yours is probably ready to taste. Mine needs to brew another minute. So what are your thoughts? Take a sip. What do you think? It's nice. Yeah, it's like really sweet on its own. Like, Is it? Yeah. I think he said, and I might be wrong, but I think he said these already have sweetener mm, in them. Perfect. Yeah, that's everything yeah. you right? need for a tea. Yes. Drop it in that's water. Yeah. Done. So yeah, these are awesome. I think the woman that created these was, was looking was for a way. Sick of loose tea, mm -hmm. sick of tea yeah. bags, sick of finding sweetener, wanted a one-stop drop. <laughs> That's awesome. so, so yeah, she wanted to just create something that would make life easier for tea drinkers, basically. And so it's everything you need in a cup of tea and one little guy that you just plop in your yeah, cup. That's awesome. So, so it's very convenient for college kids mm. who <laughs> can't always get down to the dining hall in the mornings and need a cup of tea on the go. Right? You could just plop one of those in um, a mug. And they had other flavors. We, you picked the peppermint. I don't know. I don't think they had a black tea. Mm. I can't remember now. I know there was like, if they're mostly herbal teas. But I bet if we go online, mm -hmm. we can see if we can find any more. But yeah, these are tea drops. We're going to have to look them up and mm. see what else they have. Because I want to say at the store, they had, I remember there was a ginger tea. And there was, might might have been like an an herbal, it wasn't Earl Grey, but it sounded like Earl Grey. I don't know. So, all right, I think mine's been brewing enough. I'm going to take a sip and see what I think. Ooh, I like this. It's it's very, just, it's a pretty standard black tea. But it's very good. I've just been dying for tea. <laughs> we went, when did we go to the store? Yesterday? No, not yesterday, Friday. So yeah, we went to this tea place on Friday, and then I just had all this tea sitting around and no way to drink any of it, and I was just very sad. I really wanted tea, so I've been very excited to get home and make some tea. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. That's very good. So, I'm excited. We're gonna have like a tea party. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> all the stuffed animals around. Yeah, we're gonna stuffed animal tea party. Oh, we used to do that when you guys were little, but it was never real tea back then. <laughs> so that's about it for this video. I did get bunches of things while we were in Maine. Lots of books, which you can see behind me, or can you? No, you can't, cause I'm blocking them. <laughs> this is my my book haul for this month. Um, about half of it came from Maine. <laughs> So, I did find some bookstores while we were there, and Sarah's very mad at me that I went book shopping and tea shopping without her, but I think I got you things. You can't be too sad. Take me next time. Yes, next time you can come. Sarah, do you want to plug your your social medias, your YouTube channel? Sarah does have a new channel. Yeah, my new channel is called Sarah the Story Girl. It'll be linked below, as well as all my social media handles are different now. On Instagram, I'm just Sarah the Story Girl, and on Twitter, I'm S Story Girl, because it didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to check out all of her things. She's just sort of getting her YouTube channel started yeah. now, so she has a few videos up, but she's planning, especially now that it's summer, mm. and you have time for things. Yeah. So I have some fun stuff planned, so subscribe. <laughs> Definitely subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye. Bye.